Greetings, and welcome back to my Mix Lab. My name is Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. My name is Luca Pretolesi. Welcome. And today, we're here with another episode of Fix My Mix, where we take songs from subscribers like you, pick the best one that we think you guys would like to learn from, and either myself or Luca Pretolesi will mix it in this week's course. So today, we have a song from winner Kevin Morales that we've selected for Luca Pretolesi to mix. That's great. So the interesting fact about today's track is an opportunity, I think, for other producers. They are working on the Latin uh, side of music and the modern reggaeton to just pick some ideas. All right, want to dive in? Let's see it. Let's go. Dímelo, mi gente. Mi nombre es Kevin Adames, better known as Adames. I'm an independent artist from Puerto Rico, La Isla del Encanto. Since I was a little kid, like 12 years old, I started to write songwriter, I have poems, and all that kind of stuff. Then, since Maria, I started to produce my songs. I will tell about that I am a songwriter, a producer. And now, thanks to my mix lab, I learned to be a sound engineer. Vive tu vida is the song that you will hear now. And vive tu vida is live your life. You need to be the person that you want to be. But the main idea of the song, I'm singing to a woman. I'm telling her that I'm her best option. The main idea of the song came because I love jazz music and I was trying to make a function with my roots. And my roots are reggaeton. Aquí en Puerto Rico todo el mundo escucha reggaeton y le encanta reggaeton. Entonces, how I know about my mix lab? Because I was trying to make better mixes for my music and I started to searching on YouTube how to do better mixes. And Luca Pretolesi appeared and do my laugh much better. And now Luca will help me to fix my mix. So Luca Pratolesi, please fix my mix. All right, cool. So Kevin, <clears throat> I think he had a good, I did a good job, but he left a lot of room for me to be a little bit more creative than normal. Usually fix my mix, it's more about literally fix a mix. That might be very simple, very light, um, sometimes very subtle and sometimes a little bit more uh, technical. This song gave us an opportunity to look through the drum processing. I had a clear idea when I listened to this song. So let's play the rough uh, for a minute. So just got an idea and then I'm going to jump into the final and then I'm going to go specifically into drums. All right, let's start with the, with the rough mix. Y esa cuerpa va a bailar como si fuera tu último día, último día que se jodan todos con su crítica y vive tu vida. Cada día es una nueva vida que nadie lo decida. La felicidad es tuya, no no es mía. All right, so what I felt. The entire song is a little bit scoop on the mid-range. He has a little bit of smiley face that usually works on pop music sometimes, but I feel on the reggaeton, we want to have a very clear representation of transient on the mid-range. That was my main focus. As usual, I start working from the stereo bus and going into buses and stems. I did something unusual, actually. I do I frequency limiting at the beginning of my stereo bus because I felt a lot of spikes on the top that I felt that maybe control the toe pans over 8K before any type of processing might be a good idea for this type of scenario, this type of song. So now let's go into the mix. Again, before we go into drums, let's just check the beginning of my stereo bus, the beginning of my process, uh, consistent on the TDR, limiter six, just as a high frequency limiter. A little bit of story about the TDR. It's been modeled from a prism limiter, analog limiter, that was made only for high frequency control to avoid vinyl uh, issues, like to the, have the needle jump from the vinyl, things like that. So, um, so that's the beginning. Then we have a Pro C doing my typical techniques of mid-range compression. And the idea is to raise the RMS level on the mid-range, control, bring everything front to the mix. And then we have Ozone 9 bring a lot of side since 
The song will very, very scoop also on the side. So we have Ozone 9 open up a lot the top and the lower mid range. And then we have Diamond Color EQ open up the top, the top ends and use a little bit of harmonic saturation with the preamp. So that's the beginning. All right. So first, we're going to just simply on and off those three different plugins, actually four plugins, including Diamond. And then we're going to keep it on and going into drums. All right. Listen to those spikes in the percussions. It's not just about the percussion, it's essentially the percussion plus words on the vocal plus stabs that create this almost like, I don't want to say ringing, but in some way too much stacking high frequency, very inconsistent. So the high frequency limiter really works well for that. Um, so that's my, my beginning. Then let's bypass, let's bypass uh, the rest. So there's three. So let's go into the pro C. Now is to, again, bring some energy in front on the mid range, uh, mostly on the mid. You can see I tends to compress almost like 90% the mid and then parallel just the wet with the side only. So that way we have unprocessed side blending with very processed mid. Now we are adding Ozone 9. So Ozone 9 will open up the side a lot, but still in phase. So if we use a sterilize, we can open the, the top. Actually, let's monitor also mid side so we can just listen the side alone. Let's do that. Side. Cosa puede suceder, si no lo... Vocal goes away pretty much. Let's go on a second part. Now let's add diamond with the top air. Give the man magic touch, I think. All right, so this it's kind of like the beginning of the mix. So when I mix into my stereo bus process, help me to do way less on individual channel, and I'll be very strategic and specific on what I'm going to do. Uh, that's in this case to just bring the mid range of the drum up. If I do a quick A and B, just one single bar between the, the rough mix and the final, just focus on the transient, on the snare, the kick. All right, you're gonna do one bar each, starting from the final. All right, pretty clear. So it's missing transient. So two things really quick that help me a lot to fix this um, on the drums. Very simple, reshaping Pro Q, very light but very effective. Check it out. Let's, let's solo drum so it can be. Now, the drums, it's going into the drum bus, right? So we have a kick bus, low perk, high perk in the drum bus. The drum bus, to kind of retain transient, but at the same time it's put a ceiling as an R clip from standard clip and as our <clears throat> diamond transient. All right, without. Wait. So what you see in the middle, it's expansion. So it's working on opposite of compression is bringing the mid range up and then it's hitting hard clipping into the standard clip that create a ceiling. So essentially you have a perceived punchy mid range, but we have very controlled clip from standard clip. This allows us to go into the stereo bus with enough edge room without kind of killing all the space that we need to eventually have a loud master. So this is like the drum process 
Uh, there's a few specific things that I did, especially on the low perk. There was a lot of sustain on the top. So check this. Especially in addition to bass. We try to think the groove as a one, on, on reggaeton especially. We don't want to feel detached, we want to feel glued together, but with a very clean transit response. Now, as far as the final stage of mastering, let's touch on this really quick. Nothing crazy, uh, very predictable on my style. So hard clipping first, lift two in mid-side mode, just to do mid-side clipping so we are not clip or, or do limiting on the side what that means means that we are not squeezing and reducing edge room on the side so we keep the side very open uh, there's a lot of reverb going on so we don't want to destroy the reverbs so we just clip the mid and then we use the TDR at the end just as, as a high frequency limiter and as a like top at ceiling on the entire track so let's play with or without and let's che check the RMS level of the track. Let's put the X here and let's see what's going on. Just the edges, uh, we send a clip, then lift is lifting <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I'm also doing 1 dB of compression uh, before uh, clipping. I use the mode 2, that is kind of like a soft clipper. Mid-side mode, I do a little bit of like bump, like uh, FDB on the low end. I'm using the HP, so it's, I, it's like high pass filter, just to get rid of a little bit of the rumble. And then I'm hitting the TDR with the final stage and then my, uh, my ceiling. So let's check it out. <laughs> It's an average minus seven. Again, we want to keep the song breathing and moving. Uh, let's A and B really quick before we say hi, and I uh, just want to A and B against the rough. So check it out. I want to feel that I was able to improve the quality of the mix by retaining the intention. Very important. My job, uh, in this case, engineer, is not to reinvent and just change the intention of the producer, but to enhance. In this case, I feel the drums, they're more in focus, the track is a little bit louder, with more separation, and I think the vocal is sitting better in the mix. So I'm happy with the result.